it's time for another review. Hello everyone, thanks once again for tuning in to the channel. So today we're gonna look at a figure that I don't normally collect, like I really don't collect these kind of figures, but I got a chance to see the figure in hand and when I saw it, I was like, okay, this is actually pretty good. The design was pretty nice. And so I was like, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pick this figure up. So we're taking a look at Bob Marley. Uh, this figure was made by, I believe it's Win C. I don't think I've ever heard any uh, or seen any of the figures that they've done. So I'm not 100% sure. If you are aware of this company, uh, please let me know in the comments like what other kind of figures that they've made. But this is actually the first figure that I've seen from this particular company. I also find it kind of interesting that it came with a second head scope, but it came in a separate box. I'm assuming because of the hair that um, that the figure has and stuff like that. So it's uh, pretty cool. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at this guy and open him up. I'm already liking the design on the front. That's actually a pretty cool design, uh, including the insert on the inside. That's actually a pretty good design that looks pretty cool and let's actually jump straight to the figure here which this is what i ended up seeing when i saw this in hand and i was like wow okay this actually looks uh pretty decent so let's first get him out and as you can see the design of the hair is actually really good it's um it's sculpted you know it's not not rooted or anything but i mean at the same time i don't know if you can even pull off this kind of look with like actual rooted hair i think this is something this is the thing where i think being sculpted is is a good idea um the material is actually really nice i mean really nothing special about the outfit um but it's still done really well the back of the jacket is pretty cool that's all a that's all a stitching that's not a print so that's a good design choice as well uh just some regular denim jeans that he has uh the boots are really nothing special about the boots it's just you know but still it's pretty cool a very simple outfit which you know kind of makes sense for for this figure but um it's actually really good and like I said, I definitely like the uh, the head sculpt. It's done really well. So that's what you get for the figure. In terms of the hands, um, you got a hand for picking. These are pick for the guitar, which I think is actually really nice. The only thing is I can see from right here, you can see that there's a um, kind of like a little dent indent in the thumb. So you can totally tell it's a separate thing, um, but still, you know, it's pretty cool design. It would have just been nice if they'd had, you know, like a actual sculpted full on hand and you wouldn't be able to see the, uh, the extra thumb piece. So that's uh, all right. Uh, this is his other hand for holding the guitar. So again, that's a really nice design for that. That's pretty cool. And let's see what else we got here. We have these two hands where he's kind of the gesture hands where he's holding up two fingers. Um, that's actually a pretty good, pretty good design. They're consistent with the hands as far as having the, um, the ring on his finger. Uh, so that's still, that's a pretty good, pretty good design. Nice touch. Nice consistency and again this is I mean this is just these hands here where you you know it looks like one sculpted piece as opposed to the other one that actually has you know a separate thumb that's the only hand that has that uh, everything else seems to be fine uh, these are 
they're not fisted hands. You can see that there's a, you know, a spot there. So I'm assuming this is for like when he's holding the microphone because he does come with a microphone. So this hand he could use to hold that. Uh, and then he does come with two fisted hands. So you can see the two fisted hands there. So it's a pretty cool, nice, nice accessory set. Uh, here we have, I mean, it, I don't know, it's kind of feels metal, which quite possibly it is, but these are the pieces for the microphone stand uh, that he has. And there is the microphone. So he has those pieces. These are actual guitar picks that he uses pretty good. And then you can, uh, if you look really close, you can see that there's designs on each pick. So that's a, that's a nice touch for both sides. This looks pretty good. So you have his guitar picks that he used. Uh, let's see. And then we have the guitar, which I think is actually a nice touch here. Let's see. So there is his guitar and that is some really good detail in the guitar. I really like the design of that. That is pretty cool. So that is a good, good paint application on it with the um, strings on it as well. I mean, this is just a really nice electric guitar. I like the band, the strap, I mean, for the, uh, for the guitar. So this is a, a really good design piece. I got to say this was, uh, this was definitely done really well. But you can see all of that in there. And again, this is not something that's printed. This was actually um, stitched together. So... That's a good attention to detail for that. So that's the top part of the tray. The bottom part, we actually have uh, the actual stand that he's gonna use for a stage. So that's a pretty cool design. We'll get this all set up and everything so you can be able to see the full thing. Um, Cause there is definitely some assembly required <laughs> for this so we'll get it all set up and then we'll take a look at him as he's uh standing on there before we get into the photos uh but we will take one last piece or one last look at the uh other head sculpt and uh this is just a different facial expression which is as you guys know this is one of the things i really like is the fact that uh, I love when a figure comes with more than one head sculpt and that means I can change it up. So there you have the other head sculpt, which is done really, really good. So that's kind of like, you know, if he's, uh, you want to pose him to where he looks like he's singing, that's actually a really good head sculpt. And again, the hair is, uh, sculpted. So this is actually a pretty cool setup. So for anyone who's a Bob Marley fan, I think, honestly, I think this is a good figure to pick up and uh, you can really get some good poses out of this. So uh, let's go ahead and jump right into setting him up and have him appearing on the stage and whatnot. And uh, then we will jump into some photos and see what we can come up with. So uh, let's check that out. Okay, so here we have a little bit of a setup. For the Bob Marley figure. Uh, I think it actually looks really good. Um, the stand that he comes with on the back here, I decided not to use it because I kind of wanted to test it out real quick and he stands really well on his own. So I don't think I really need the extra stand uh, that he came with to keep him balanced. I would say for some people, how they have their setup, they might need it. But for me, for the sake of photos and, and things like that, uh, I wouldn't really need the stand. Uh, I did notice the small LED lights, uh, I'm LED, excuse me, the regular lights <laughs> that come with the stage, you actually have to hook them up from the bottom. They do not light up. There are no lights on the inside. However, the way it's set up, as you can see, is there uh, is a hole on the bottom of the light. So if you wanted to, there's plenty of room for you to be able to set something up to where you can feed the wires, put some LED lights inside the setup, 
feed the wires through and you can totally have this thing all lit up with all six lights shining on them. That's actually something I, I believe I might consider doing that uh, just so you can have lights in there. So unfortunately it does not come with that stuff, but they totally left it open to do it if you wanted to. And I think that's a nice touch, you know, for doing that. You know, it'd be nice if it was there, but you know, some people may not know how to do that. So they're just like, okay, well, we'll just leave it open so that you could do that. So I think it's still a nice touch. So overall, I am pretty satisfied with the figure. Um, I think they did a really good job for the design, um, for the clothing, everything. And again, this is just a really nice, uh, really nice setup. So I, it's, like I said, it's not something that I would normally buy, but um, I am pretty satisfied with the purchase. So I think it's a, um, I think it's a good setup. And uh, you know, we'll see what kind of good uh, pictures we can get out of this. Um, I mean, there's plenty of photo references of him. So if you wanted to get like a really good pose, I, I mean. Some people can try and do this out of memory and things like that, but honestly, as a suggestion, I would say maybe look up some photos of Bob Marley and, and see if you can, you know, get him in a desired pose that you would want him in and have him set up. I know there's some people who uh, have the Hot Toys Michael Jackson figure, you know, and so this is another iconic music artist, and I think he would go good with anyone who wants to have a setup of like different musical artists. So if you're thinking about picking this thing up, I would say he's uh, definitely recommended. I think they did a good job with the figure. And so I'm, uh, I'm satisfied. Uh, so anyway, that's all I wanted to say about the figure. Let's go ahead and jump into some photos. And again, I'll take this time to thank you guys um, for supporting the channel, for constantly visiting, for subscribing. As I say always, you guys are always appreciated. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a good one.